this question of mystery becomes very important. We've talked about it a little bit earlier where I, I talked about demystification, that bias to demystify all of reality. But you see, what if reality is a mystery fundamentally? What does mystery mean, actually? Go look up the word mystery in the dictionary. It'll be illuminating for you. Here's, after you do that, uh, here's, here's a little bit more of the full picture for you of how profound mystery is, this question of mystery. Don't take this lightly. See, when we say that reality is a mystery, usually people think like, oh, well, that just means like we haven't done enough science on it. If we do enough science on it, it'll stop being a mystery. No, 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 that's not what I mean. When I say reality is a mystery, that's a metaphysical claim. That's a profound epistemological claim. What I'm saying is that reality is that which cannot be known because it's literally endless. You see, infinity is endless mystery. That's not a problem to be solved by doing more science, the way that scientists think. You will never science your way out of the mystery of infinity. If you could know infinity, it would have an end to it, meaning it would be finite meaning it wouldn't be infinite, meaning you would be contradicting yourself. So infinity has to be unknowable. And so ultimately what has to happen here is that there needs to be a profound collapse between the duality of knowledge and being or grounding. It's not that there is a ground to reality and there's knowledge, knowledge of the ground. No, knowing and ground are the same thing. Here, metaphysics and epistemology, they collapse into each other into a unity. And then you're in non-dual, non-symbolic, absolute God consciousness.